um, that that you can access it recorded. Okay, so take care. Have a great morning and a great day. All right, thanks, Ms. Simmons. And I just want to remind everyone um, that your attendance will be taken at the end. We're just going to download the report of who is here, and that will count for your attendance for today. I'm going to pass it this along to your senior class president, Cielo. Hi, everyone. I'm Cielo Saeed. I'm this year's senior class president. Uh, I just want to start off by saying congratulations to all my seniors because we are now in our last month of high school. Uh, the more I think about it, the more insane it sounds because of how fast the past four years have been. Um, but in the last stretch of our senior year, we want to make a year's worth of memories in the next month with the events that we have planned for all seniors. Um, this assembly is just a debrief on some important dates coming up and to be aware of deadlines and info regarding graduation. So. <laughs> all right, thank you, Cielo. We are going to get into the details of all the events um, Cielo mentioned. So our first event, we have Senior Honors Night. Um, and this will be an event for students who are honored if they've earned um, what you see on the screen, an overall GPA of 3.5, if you've completed a certain number of community service hours, and other um, awards we'll be giving out. So what I need from you all is you need to complete the senior honors and awards Google form by Friday, by this Friday, so we can celebrate your achievements. There's some things that we just don't know about you with you. What school are you attending? Did you get any scholarships from the, the college or university you're going to? And we want to hear about it. We want to celebrate you. So be sure to complete this form by Friday. Again, you all have access to this slide deck on our website. So um, talking about honoring seniors, there are three graduation cords that you are um, qualified to wear if you, if you qualify for each one. We have our National Honor Society is our red cord. We've got our Col um, California Scholarship Federation is our gold cord and our CTE Pathway Completer black cord. So those who are honored at Seniors Honors Night, um, Certain ones of you will be getting your cords and these will be distributed at our mandatory graduation practice happening on June 1st. So you will get your cords there. If you have any questions as to if you qualify or not for one of the cords, please contact Mr. Barr in the College and Career Center. All right, graduation ceremony regalia. Um, so on the day of graduation, you want to come wearing your cap and gown. So everybody's gonna have their olive uh, cap and gown. Please be in mind that you may not wear heels. We've got a brand new field um, and we can't have heels on there. Um, you, if you, if it is your culture to wear something um, like a, a lei, some sort of, sort of tribal um, regalia, any recognized objects of religious or cultural significance, um, please just stop by my office or send me an email just to let me know, just so I can kind of um, get a heads up and talk to you about this. Otherwise, students, uh, you're not allowed to wear any balloons or lays or carry flowers. We want our graduates just walking down the hill um, with nothing in their hands and just so we can get, kind of just see you in the moment. Uh, at the end of the ceremony, we are offering graduation lays that are able to be purchased beforehand. Now, like I said, they may not be worn during the ceremony, but this is a popular graduation item to wear afterwards. So you can click here to look at what is being sold. And this is an optional item. Sometimes um, family members purchase this for their graduates. So this will be allowed for after the ceremony. All right, I'm going to pass it back to Cielo, who will talk about your senior prom. All right, so prom this year is May 22nd in the new Peabody Stadium from 6 to 10 p.m. Uh, this year's prom is definitely going to be different. 
than previous years, but I can assure you that everyone that walks into that stadium will have a good time. Um, we have so many jumbo sized games and activities and entertainment that will for sure bring out the competitive side in most of you. Um, we have things like arcade games, um, a hypnotist, Mario Kart, jumbo lawn games, and food will be provided. Um, there are still tickets available, so make sure you get them as soon as possible. Uh, they're available at lunch and after school and on the web, web store. I recommend coming to the high school if you have any issues on the web store, as I know a handful of you have. Um, also, a big factor is absolutely no, oh, sorry, <laughs> no heels on the field. And uh, yeah, I'll pass it to Mr. Raza next. Thank you. Okay, seniors, congratulations. And boy, this year has gone by very quickly. So yearbooks, order your yearbooks soon, uh, $90. And there's a website right there in your order number. The distribution date will be in August 11th. That's a little ways from now. It'll be a drive-through distribution. So uh, once you have purchased your yearbooks and if you don't happen to be in town, you can certainly coordinate with your parents or friends to be able to pick that up with your receipt, okay? Do you have any other questions regarding your yearbook? Contract, uh, contact Miranda Dijoux. There's their information right there, along with the telephone number for Herf Jones. But yeah, just contact uh, Mrs. Jew and she'll have all your, uh, she'll be able to answer all your questions, okay? And then we'll go on to the next slide. All right, so I'm gonna talk more about the details of graduation, which is very exciting. It's happening in Peabody Stadium on Wednesday, June 2nd at 6 p.m. Um, we're aiming that'll end at 8.30. Now, here's the important part. Um, we are limited due to COVID rules um, as to how many people can attend this event. So right now, every senior is allowed four guest tickets and every senior must complete the ticket request form where it says click here. This must be completed by this Friday. We need to know who is coming to graduation um, and how many guests they would like to have in the audience. So please inform your family to complete this ticket request by Friday. In the form, there's a question that asks if you need more than four tickets, you can request that. Now, once we assess how many people are coming, we will let you know if we have extra tickets to provide for you. So um, we will just have to wait and see and contact you if we do. Um, like I said, you'll, you'll be notified by the end of next week about that. Um, another COVID related item um, that we must follow because we are following all of the California um, health and safety guidelines and every attendee not graduates, but attendees must show either their proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test within three days. So just uh, pre be prepared to tell your family members that they will need to present this upon arrival. We are working on a system on collecting these documents so that there will be a fast track line, kind of like Disneyland and you've turned in all your items and you are all set to go versus those who are just bringing these documents. So please stay tuned for that. Um, in order to be prepared for graduation, uh, we have two mandatory graduation rehearsals that all seniors, all graduates must attend. So it's happening on Tuesday, June 1st and Wednesday, June 2nd. So on those two days, so that Monday before is Memorial Day uh, weekend. So we have a holiday on that Monday. We will not go to school. On that Tuesday at 9 a.m., you are not going to go to your classes. No need to bring anything. Um, we're going to check you in and we will meet um, at the front of the school at nine to go through the practice of graduation. Also on Tuesday, June 1st, no need to bring a lunch. Our, PT our alumni association and uh, PTSA will be providing lunch for you all. So it's going to be um, a good time. And then on also on Tuesday, June 1st, you will be receiving your cap and gown. So when you ordered your cap and gown through Herf Jones, if you haven't, please do so. Um, you had the option to have it sent to your house or sent to school. So if you sent it to school, you'll get it on that day. 
Uh, Wednesday, June 2nd will be an additional rehearsal just to make sure everything goes smoothly and uh, things will look good for your families on, on that Wednesday evening. I'm gonna take a moment here and pause for questions. Um, are there any questions in the, in the chat that I should, should address to everyone? Haley, I think there's one, um, I believe on the, in the mortar board, it says that they have graduation practice from nine till 12. And then here on this slide, it says nine to one. I think students just wanna know which is the accurate time. Great question. So on Tuesday, the first day, it's gonna be until 1 p.m. because we have lunch for you guys. On Wednesday, it'll only be until noon because I know you guys have a big evening. So Wednesday, you'll get out earlier. Um, and I see wedges. If you are interested in wearing wedges, can you bring a picture to my office? Um, I just want to make sure if, if they're flat and wide, um, they're not going to puncture our turf. That should be fine, but I need to see it first. So send me an email or come by my office. Uh, attendees, do attendees have to be vaccinated? Uh, they either have to be vaccinated um, two weeks after their second dose or provide a negative COVID test within three days of graduation. All right, are there any questions that I should address? Okay, I'm gonna pass this along to Ms. Simmons who will talk about graduation speakers. Hi hey everyone, sorry, I'm busy answering questions. Um, I appreciate all of you that are putting questions in the Q&A, that way everybody can see your question and your answers. If you wanna send us a question just to the panelists, that's fine and we'll try to verbally answer them. We're doing the best we can to answer all your questions. So graduation speakers, I need people that will stand up there next to me when we, when we get to speak and, and um, welcome all of the attendees and to celebrate you all. Um, so please, please, please consider being a graduation speaker. Um, we are looking for um, speeches that are uh, multilingual, that would be especially to honor our diverse and inclusive population here at Santa Barbara High School. Um, and so again, this Friday, if you can get in a draft of your, your proposed speech to Ms. Villasenor, uh, we'll work with you on um, revising that draft if you need it. We'll practice together. There's lots of things that we'll do to support you in all of this, but I do need some of you to stand up there next to me and help us um, make this graduation ceremony rememberable. Thanks. So now we'll have Cielo talk about the cap sticker contest. So this year, seniors are gonna be allowed to decorate their graduation caps with about four stickers that are no larger than three by three inches. Um, the stickers can embody your current experiences at Santa Barbara High School, like academies and clubs or future plans, for example, which college you may be going to. Um, but the sticker cap contest is essentially where anyone can submit a sticker design and that will be given out to all seniors and it'll be the class of 2021 sticker. Uh, the deadline is May 7th, so this Friday. Um, it's coming up pretty soon and I hope that a lot more of you participate because it's a cool opportunity and something nice to say that you, you've done before. So um, yeah, and email them to Sophia Corral at the email that's linked below. Thank you, Cielo. I'm also seeing a couple of questions in the chat about um, your, your cap. So you cannot decorate it. You can't add paint or glitter. The only thing that can be on there are these approved stickers that Cielo mentioned. So um, if you do have a question, if a sticker can be allowed or not, you can come by my office or send it to Sophia and we're gonna work on approving those stickers. Uh, senior assistants. So we have the, the Assistance League of Santa Barbara, whose 
pretty wonderful. They have provided um, seniors with dresses and, and tuxedos for prom. So there's more information in page seven of our mortar board, but they are a resource to you. So to those who um, need assistance with their attire. Um, if you are in need of financial assistance in order to purchase a cap or gown, uh, please email me or come by my office and we can, we can work something out. So again, as always, I would love to see your faces come on by if you have any questions. Okay, let's see, parking, that's gonna be uh, Mr. Razo, if you wouldn't mind. Hello, everybody. So uh, parking on graduation day. So uh, on Wednesday, June 2nd, those with the senior lot parking pass will not, will not be guaranteed a parking spot in the senior lot. So that's gonna be very important. So even though you've got a, a pass, you will not be guaranteed a parking spot. Please note, junior lot is reserved for parents, okay? So if you're interested in applying for graduate ceremony parking permit, you must email our host, Ms. Via Senor. Okay, she's got all the answers. We'll have all the answers and we'll help you with everything. Okay, so that'll be very important. So you will not be guaranteed a spot, but if you'd like one, you contact Ms. Via Senor by Friday, May 7th. Okay, all that's coming up very, very soon. So we have a lot to organize. Okay, it's going to be a great event. It's going to be a beautiful venue and I'm looking forward to it. Every, we all are. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, as, as you guys can see, Friday, this Friday is the big deadline for lots of things. So be ready. Um, planning ahead, I see questions about um, the requirements for proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test. Here are the rules. All attendees older, th older than four and up must provide evidence of a negative COVID test or show their vaccination card. The vaccination card must be two weeks after the final dose. So even if it's a week and a half, that would not count. That person who had took their final dose after a week and a half, that attendee would have to show a negative COVID test. That would be their option. Another heads up item, attendees. So your families may not leave the stadium until after you, the graduates exit the stadium. Um, so we recommend that you make a plan with your family. Where are you going to meet them after the ceremony? Because um, it might be a little crazy making. So make a plan. Are you going to be in the senior lawn, front of the school? Um, just know where you all will be. And Mr. Mendoza, we'll talk to you about some reminders and expectations. Good morning, everybody. Um, thank you for being here. Congratulations, you got a month left, three weeks to be exact. Um, just want to remind everyone um, that the, the stuff that's not so fun um, to hear about, but I, but I, the first thing, just a reminder to everybody that the teachers will inform the administrators um, in about three weeks, May 25th, who has not passed their classes, um, which means that you will not be able to participate in graduation. So again, you have three weeks. Just a friendly reminder on that. And um, I wish you guys all the best with, with passing your classes. Um, another friendly reminder, um, unfortunately, if you are found um, violating an ed code, by, an ed code um, which would be a suspendable offense, um, it, this, this could really jeopardize your participation in, in senior activities and graduation. So um, I say all that to, to remind you, not to scare anybody, um, just follow the rules. Do what you need to do for the next three weeks to get through, and uh, keep in mind that that participating in grad in the graduation ceremony is a privilege, not a right. So um, those are not fun things to remind you about, but things that you need to hear um, so that we can finish up these last three weeks the right way. I wish you all the best and and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Mendoza. So um, this last slide has some key deadlines you might want to take a screenshot of or use your phone to take a picture of and, and put these in your calendar. So we've got some key things in here. And while you guys do that, I'm going to um, answer the questions out loud that are going into this Q&A. Um, do children under four count as one of the four attendees um, a graduate is allowed to have? Yes. Any person who is a body who has a seat, they count as a ticket because this year, especially we're very restricted as to how many 
human beings we can have in the stadium. So yes, every, every um, age counts. Will graduates have to get COVID tested a week before? Graduates do not need to get COVID tested because you all are students and your families, your parents are filling out the crisis go emails each day. So you do not need to be tested, only the attendees. Um, where can we order a cap and gown? Check our website, there's instructions. Um, talking about a guaranteed spot does not mean you could show up early without buying another spot for graduation or would you have to purchase another spot? Uh, a couple things there. One, graduation is free. We just need to record uh, who is attending. So you just need to sign up for your tickets to request that you want four tickets. Uh, let's see. So if you do need more, just, just state that in the form and we'll see what you can do. If we're hoping that some people will only take what they are required and only need two tickets and then we can kind of help accommodate everyone. Um, if you have a question about yearbooks, if you've ordered it or not, reach out to Miss Ju. Um, she can let you know if it, if it went through, if you ordered it or not. And again, yes, it's, it's age four and up for a COVID test. Let's see, um, administration, is there any other questions we should address out loud? The only thing I wanna um, reach, just sort of confirm or, or say out loud is the graduation ceremony, there's some questions about stickers and decorating your caps. And um, the graduation ceremony is a very formal and traditional ceremony. And we have a graduation committee that's made up of alumni, staff, students, um, where we talk through um, the, the traditional formal parts of the, of the ceremony. And so while we wanna honor some changes and we have, um, we have made changes in the last couple of years, we still wanna honor the tradition and that it's a, it is a, um, a collective ceremony the senior awards night is where we honor the individuals um, of, of and all the individual accomplishments and celebrate what you've done. So I just want to keep that, I want you to keep that on the back of your mind. So we'll reapproach graduation. You'll notice we have lots of practices. There's a lot of just, you know, we all we all have the same regalia for the most part. And again, it's all about the collective celebration together of a very formal ceremony. Um, so I want to impress that upon you. And that also goes to our expectations around behavior um, while we're practicing, why we want you there. Um, if for some reason you can't be at the mandatory graduation practices, you need to communicate that as soon as possible. Okay, so um, appreciate all the questions. That tells me you're engaged and um, I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. I see a couple more I kind of want to answer out loud. Um, senior checkout, great question. So senior checkout happens on Friday the 28th, which is uh, the, the day before Memorial Day weekend, before our mandatory graduation practice. And on that day, um, you need to turn in things like all your library textbooks, your iPad, um, you need to check in with the business office if you owe money. So you're just kind of going through a final uh, check out and you'll get you'll get a paper signed and confirmed. So more details will be coming on that at the end of the month. Uh, yearbook purchases. There's there's two dates there. So I wanted to remind you on they're absolutely due Sunday, May 9th, um, but May 5th, it was just a reminder because that was the last school day. Um, graduation practices on Tuesday, it'll be from nine to one and Wednesday will be from nine to noon. As for shoes, um, just come by and show them to me if they're platform shoes. Um, stickers we talked about. 
Oh, great question. On this slide right here where it says Monday, May 17th, Tuesday, May 18th, that's COVID testing. That COVID testing is for those attending prom. So all of our COVID testing has to be done right before the event. So um, attendees who are attending graduation, so family members, you can't get tested today and be cleared for graduation. It has to be done within the three days before graduation. Okay, so I think that about wraps it up for our senior assembly. If you have questions, you can stay on and we will answer them individually. But as for everyone else, for the good of the order, we've we tried to cover everything that is in here. So please be sure to check our website if you have any questions about details. Check this mortarboard, they should be the same, but all of our updates and details are on that on our website. And then if you have any questions, feel free to come by my office or send me an email. All right. So thank you seniors for attending. The next time we'll be together as a big group will be for graduation practice. So very exciting stuff. So thank you for attending. <laughs>